The first step of this process is going to be to remove the seat. So to do that, we're going to come back here to the seat screw. There's a Phillips bit. You want to find your largest Phillips bit. See how that one's a little loose? Let's not use that one. In this case, it's going to be a number three Phillips. Ooh, nice tight fit. Push down. Lefty Lucy that sucker off of there. Comes right on up out of there. Grab the back end of your seat, lift up, and pull backwards. Seat comes off. First thing we're going to do, cut this zip tie right here. Make sure you don't cut the wiring harness underneath it. Get that out of the way there. And we're going to take this brace off. And uh, that's going to take a 7 16 socket. Set that bracket off the side, and I'm going to thread the screws back in here so I can keep track of it. Next, we're going to remove the side cover. This takes a 5 30 seconds Allen socket. Both those screws out, set them to the side. Take this little plastic tab here, you can pull it out of that bracket there and lift it up. Set that off to the side. Now we're going to disconnect the negative battery terminal first. So you get in there with a 10 millimeter wrench, that's where I said 10, break that sucker free. And you might be able to get in there with your fingertips and thread out, or you might have to go in from the top of the Phillips screwdriver. Might have to use a ratchet. Hopefully it'll thread out with your fingers. Move your battery wire off to the side. Thread the screw back in there, keep track of it for now. Make sure your wire is off to the side, not touching the battery. Oop. That way it won't accidentally reconnect and electrify the entire system. Now that your battery terminal's out of the way, you have all these little wires here, and it's not as woo as it seems. This top one here will pop off with a little quick connect there. Then you can take these wires and push them out of the way. Now why they made this one a quick connect and this one a permanent zip tie, we'll never know. However, you can get down in here and cut that little zip tie right there, and then we'll put a new one in in a better location. But either way, you get the wires out of the, out of the way right there. Then from there, you have this little quick connect here on the side of the battery. Press this little button in, and you should be able to slide the plug right on out of there. Hopefully you can see that. Boop! Set that one off to the side as well. Now, you should be able to slide this plug out of that plastic mount and undo it down the little S wire hook thing, I, whatever. Undo it down out of the way there. So right down here, we can just stick this wire off the side and disregard these red ones. Um, you won't have this red wire right here. This is for a aftermarket air suspension I have. But from there, you can take a small flathead screwdriver or T-handled Allen wrench, flick that thing right out of the way there. So you can see, if I can get the screwdriver in there, see this little hook tab right here? Boop! Okay, so this is this outer plastic bracket here. So you're gonna have to get that out of there. And then it will slide right on out of there. All right, going with the handheld here for this one. So right down here, well you can see that, there's that little plastic tab. See if I can get my light, my camera, and everything balanced here. You can push that out of the way with your thumb and pop that up and off of there. Just like that. Sorry for the shaky camera. And then this thing should come right on out of here. 
Now you can take all your wires here. You can take this little plastic bracket here and slide it right on out of there. Woo! Why there's not a little rubber strap on there and that's it? I don't know. But it is what it is. These are not decisions I make. Disregard all these little extra stuff. Uh, disregard all this stuff. I'm actually in the middle of a air shock install and I thought I'd shoot the battery video while I was in here. So, all right, so you see way back inside there, there's a the positive screw. I'm gonna put a socket on it right there. Uh, it's actually not that bad to get from the top, but my hands would be in the way and you wouldn't be able to see it. So we're looking in there from the side. I can actually reach down and touch it there. So you can see it's actually not that bad. But we'll take a 10 millimeter socket, back that screw right on up off of there. And then from there, you should be able to reach down to your fingertips, pull that screw right on out of there. Your battery cable will be out of the way. It's not nearly as bad as it looks, I promise. At least this part isn't. Then from there, you can grab your battery. This is probably the most difficult part. There we go, Jesus. Okay, getting it to initially move, a bit tricky. And it should come up and out. And it should hopefully just barely clear the dipstick cap. It does, barely. So you don't actually have to take the dipstick out. See dipstick still in there? It clears, barely. You're gonna have to take screws out of the terminal. Whoa, buddy, look at that. That is a, uh, that was quite the tight spot for that, wasn't it? 